we are talking happy hunting of course this is very similar to the movie the most dangerous game which has been made into a other kind of adaptations that we've seen before who can forget hard target of jean-claude van damme and let's not forget slave girls from beyond infinity among others now in case you are unaware of the concept it essentially means that there the is a story here is we have this humans hunting other humans for sport so in this movie we've got this guy called warren and he is this kind of uh alcoholic he's real kind of a bit of a dirt bag to be quite honest um dealing in drugs you see him murder a couple of drug dealers at the beginning of the film he basically goes on the run uh for personal reasons as well and he ends up in this kind of this small town called bedford flats and here once a year, this, these, the, the townspeople of this very kind of rural, out-the-way town it's decide they're going to hunt down and kill any kind of undesirables that they have in their town. So this year, we've got this guy, we've got a homeless person, we've got the town drunk. They send them all off into the kind of the desert, and then a few people from the towns will hunt them down for sport and fun. So that's pretty much the film. So um, what do I think about uh happy hunting this one's got two directors joe dutch and uh lucan gibson otherwise known as lewis gibson probably butchered your name there my apologies i've got to say despite the fact that it is really something you've seen before it's actually still quite a fun film uh pretty well made i think it really does take advantage here of the locations uh now you could argue, yeah, the locations are kind of boring. It's just desert. But I think it adds that kind of the extra element to this movie. Because unlike the other kind of dangerous game style films, there's no jungle here. There's not a lot to hide with. You've just got these big open spaces. So it adds that kind of the extra element here. Other than a few rocks and a couple of other kind of things that will happen in the movie, there's very, very few places to actually hide in this film. So it adds almost a, a little bit more sense of urgency, maybe, than you, maybe we would have in a lot of these style films. So that was all quite good. Second thing I was saying on the positives are I think the actual main character here, despite the fact that he is an alcoholic, he is basically a bit of a criminal, you still kind of root for the guy. He still comes across as a sympathetic character. So that's basically down to the performance of the the lead actor here, which I thought was which is pretty good. And I also really loved all the townspeople. I thought they were a lovely you know um eccentric mix of oddballs here and you have a variety of different kind of uh, hunters that are hunting these guys so that was all kind of quite fun and the movie does go at a feral pace it's quite an exciting film uh you know the, the tension is kind of ramping up it's different kind of problems present uh it does, it does have a bit of social commentary on kind of um you know substance abuse as well so there is a little bit of kind of uh uh you know discussion about going cold turkey and things like that and obviously addiction on the negatives here um the biggest one i feel is that you simply you have seen this kind of film at least a few times before at least a version of it so it is just kind of pumping out this tried and tested formula once again so you're not missing anything new by kind of watching this film when we get to some of the effects of course the digital effects looked a little weak <clears throat> A couple of times they have used CGI blood and kind of CGI kind of bullet holes as they come through. And it looks a little obvious. And there's a, there's a quite a rubbish CGI fire effect as well towards the end. Uh, so that wasn't so good. And it does. There's a, there's a couple of altercations when we have our kind of protagonist tangling with a couple of these uh, townspeople. And on two occasions, I just thought it ended up being a little bit silly. Uh, what actually happened with that spoiler? Anything it just seemed. A little bit far-fetched and a little bit kind of like oh that's just kind of set up to for a dramatic effect or it just seems a little bit stupid in places if i'm quite honest but overall i actually had quite a lot of fun with this film it's kind of a, a bit of a, a fun adventure i think it ends in a way that one may piss people off i actually kind of like the ending i will say that i'll give it a seven out of ten i thought it was a perfectly serviceable kind of action horror film have you seen it what did you think of it leave me a comment i look forward to seeing you next time Bye for now.